Welcome to the South Point Casino and Resort. Gordon Mann joined by Coach Tanya England of the uh, Wisconsin Eau Claire Blue Golds. Coach, first off, first things first, congratulations on the win today over Pacific Lutheran. You had a rough game against a defensively bruising team in Stevens. You had a rare day off to talk uh, to talk that over and to get ready. It looked like a much different team here today. Let's, how'd, you, how'd you spend your day off? Well, we spent our day off talking a lot about our compete level in that first game. You know, I get sometimes coming off the break that you're going to miss some shots and things, but I was really disappointed about how we came out and competed. And for my team, being as young as we are, it was a good learning lesson. Um, we really believe in traveling over the holidays. It's an institutional mission for us to take our players throughout the country and okay. to see different things. And I told them a sign of a good team is that you can travel and then you can also come out and bring it when you play. And so that day off for us was really good. This was much more the team that I expect today. Talk a little bit about that mission. That's that's interesting. You know, public institution. I get most of your students are from Wisconsin. Maybe a couple from Minnesota. Is that? part of the educational experience, I guess? Part of it is that there's high impact experiences at UW-Eau Claire, and those high impact experiences a lot of times are traveling okay. and seeing different experiences, different things than Eau Claire. Right. And so for me, during the four years that my players play for me, we will travel to four different parts of the country. Wow. Um, Aaron Brenner, who is a senior for me actually, and was a red shirt, um, actually has been on five trips now. Okay. So when you look at her graduating, she's been to almost every different part of the country. And we really try to make sure that the players experience different cultures, see different things. And so this has been a great experience for us. But it goes right with what we're trying to do at the university. We really want our players to grow during the four, t the four years that they're at Eau Claire. Interesting approach from uh, Eau Claire. Also, the men's team was here. They went 2-0. and Your athletic director was here. We had a chance to meet him. Uh, you made good use of the, the saloon restaurant. We were a little jealous of that. But talk about the overall approach. Some schools will come out here on occasion to recruit. I can't imagine this is a big recruiting ground uh, in, in Las Vegas. Others will come out here for the fun. You came out here as an athletic department. What was the, what's the impetus behind that? Well, first of all, I would credit Dan Schumacher and the fact that um, I've been at Eau Claire for 17 years, um, working with him now a couple of years. I love his approach. He's all about win as one and about passion and pride. And I think he's really united our athletic department. We're on a mission and a purpose to represent excellence. And so um, when we planned this trip a couple years ago, Matt, the men's coach, myself, we get along really well. And we believe that you feed off of each other's right. success. And uh, it's been great to see our men's team have the success that they've had. And I've known a lot of those players since they were younger. And they've right. worked hard in the gym to see this. Right. It's great for my team and how young they are right. to see what hard work and really good chemistry does for a team. And so there's a, there was a lot of planning behind this. But I think that both teams grew out here. And I just I love the fact that Dan made the trip with us because yeah. for us we, we have a big time approach. If we're going to do things, we're going to go big. And um, to have the reception, uh, you know, the traveling that you saw out of our fans, right. a lot of those people do not have players on the team. Wow. Those are people that travel and support us. How about that? And so we love it because it's Division Three, but it has that approach that what we do is really important, and the people that follow our team really contribute to that. Now let's talk a little about your your team. They're you know, six and five headed back home. Uh, very young. Kayla Hanley played well here. She's she's your lone upperclassman in the yep. starting lineup. Uh, she was the one player who had a good game against Stevens. Talk about what she brings to the roster and the team overall. Well, Kayla's local. She's a Chippewa Falls gal. Okay. And uh, I just love Ch Kayla because she competes. She's one of your players when, as a coach who finishes your sentences, who knows exactly what you're talking about. She has very high basketball IQ, and she's very versatile. And so we move her all over the place. Um, but, you know, she, I thought, really played two very good games back-to-back. -back. Um, and I think that Grass, we call her Grass, Anna, and Kayla play really well together. Right. They're both local. Um, okay. Grass is from Memorial in town. And so to have both of them to have that local flavor in our program is really important. I think that Kayla makes Anna better. Um, she gives her the ball at the right time. And I think everybody can see Anna's pretty special. She's only a freshman. And uh, she's putting 16, 17 up a game for us. And to have a freshman as your go-to, especially in our league. Yeah. I've been doing this a long time and haven't seen a freshman who's handled it like she has. And so the future is really bright. How did you find her recruiting? I guess you didn't have to go too far. Didn't have to go too far, and that's important to me. When we get a really good local player, I want to keep them close to home. The really special thing about Anna is that she's extremely smart. She is a very, very good student. Uh, most of my players are very high academic kids, and so it's nice that Eau Claire is such a great institution that our local players want to stay close to home as well. Now you've, this program has had success. You've had success. You won a national championship at St. Thomas. You've been to the final floor as the coach here at Eau Claire. 
This is a really tough conference. One of the toughest two or three, if not the toughest conference in the country. Stevens Point, Whitewater, River Falls, on occasion Oshkosh this year. You have such a young team. How do you get them ready for conference play? Because it starts right up with, with, I think it's River Falls and then Whitewater. And then, you know, and then Stevens Point is somewhere not far behind that. How do you get them ready for that? Well, I think some of it is uh, we really planned a tough non-conference schedule, and I knew I was right. going to have a young team this year, and so this was part of our planning was okay. to take them on the road and to get them in a, a, a high experience here with a lot of really good teams. And, um, you know, I think for us it was really good for us to maybe get away from home for a little bit and to travel over the holidays and for our team to get a little bit closer and to grow. Right. Uh, I think in our league... I haven't had as young of a team in our league during the time that I've been here where we've had to play a lot of younger players right away. But I think what we have going forth over the other teams is that my, I have a deep bench. We went, you know, 13 players yep. today. And I've said all along, I've really tried to grow that during the non-conference schedule. Okay. We can play a lot of different players. Our league is good, but I don't think the depth is there in the other teams that we have. And so uh, it's a great league. I have high respect for all of our coaches that are in the league. And um, I always feel like going in, if you win our league, you have a great opportunity to win a national championship. And it's one of the many reasons why I've stayed at Eau Claire as long as I have. Last question for you, always end on this. Basketball is a lot of fun. You've been out here before when you're in your playing days. Um, I imagine not too many of your team has actually been here to Las Vegas before. What will you do that's not basketball? Something that will hopefully take you beyond the confines of the South, uh, South Point Casino. Well, you know, the players have had an opportunity to kind of get out on different nights. Um, I think tonight we're all going to probably go and explore some different things. Uh, I think the big thing for me a lot of times is that I like for my players to be able to go and figure those things out on their own. Right. And so um, we have all day tomorrow. And I think another unique experience is being out here over the holidays. It's quite right. the place to be during the right. holidays. <laughs> and so we don't fly out until tomorrow night. And okay. so I think it's going to be really fun to get into the spirit of things of, with Las right. Vegas. We have a lot of parents here as well. So right. we've done a lot of group things with all of our fans. And we'll continue to do that until we leave tomorrow. Um, but. I, I'm not gonna lie. We're looking forward to getting back to Zorn Arena. Uh, we play at Zorn. It's a unique place. It's special. Yeah. It really is. And we'll play at home on Wednesday when we get back. Okay. I know a lot of people with this. Our team is intriguing. They're fun to watch. And we've had our ups and downs so far. But we are really, I think, unique and special when we get at home because we love our crowd. And so we're looking forward to getting back to Eau Claire too. Uh, UW Eau Claire gets a win here. The team on the rise. Someone to watch for the second semester and the seasons to come. For the D3Hoops.com Classic in Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Gordon Mann.